hi there so I thought it would be easier to show you um, a video I need to clean on top of the tank sorry about the dirty glass um, so I'm looking at this little guy up top he's on the on the turtle dock and I noticed last night I take them out of the tank at night to feed and he didn't eat and he's usually pretty voracious so uh, this morning he came to eat I feed him inside the tank on uh, in the morning because I use the turtle the turtle food that uh, um, floats better and he didn't eat this morning and so because I'm off of work this week because I work in a school it's February break I've been doing some work in my office and just able to like kind of hang out and look at him a little more than normal and I noticed that every minute or so he takes that gasp of air so of course I googled it and everything online is saying, oh, that means your turtle is in respiratory distress or something. Um, of course, now that I'm doing a video, he's not doing it. But I'll see if, I'm sure you've seen it before. Um, he's been doing that a lot too. And I thought it was because there was something on his eye and I did the toothbrush method you told me and I, I I don't see anything, but he keeps um, wiping at, pawing at, clawing at his left eye. And I guess I'm worried that something's wrong with him. He's not, it, he's not doing it now, the breathing thing, but I'm sure he'll do it. He just opens his mouth and takes like, it sticks his neck out like he's trying to gasp for air. Come on, Mr. Turtle, do it. Um, I have the vitamin, I mean, the, U, the UVB light on, the basking lamp, um, the temperature is actually a little, I would like it a bit warmer, but I've been playing with the angle on it and I just don't love this lamp. I might have to get a new one. I think it's, I don't want to move yet because he'll jump down, but I think it's on, oh, it's on 90. Um, it's usually between 90 and 95, but it's on 90 right now. Here's his friend on the bottom here. Uh, of course, now that I'm videoing, he's not going to do the breathing thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here's the current tank set up. Um, I need to scoop out the poopy on the bottom. I haven't done that today. I have not been doing full water changes because the water looks so nice and clear except for a little bit of droppings on the bottom and a little bit of food that I scoop out every day. There is my, um, I put a, that's an albino catfish in there just to help with algae. And I also put my Pleco from my other tank in here for a couple days to clean the tank out because I what I thought was algae right here is actually not algae. I had a, a plastic plant in here and I had a lamp mounted on the side and it was just the the lamp was making the green plant not melt, but yeah, melt. So that's just, I need to just wipe that off. I was gonna do a full, a full, a tank change today. Um, so yeah, he's just hanging out there, basking, looking at me and not doing what I saw him do earlier that had me alarmed. But it does sound like what people are saying online. Every few minutes he opens his mouth really wide like he's, I don't know, gasping for air, which I hope that isn't the case because I do not have money to take him to a herp vet right now because I had to take my cat into the vet last week. Emergency appointment and then a follow-up appointment. So I'm strapped for cash. But anyway, so they're currently in a 20-gallon long. Um... Still contemplating my next setup, but obviously I don't want to do anything massive if this guy, little guy is sick. And hopefully this sounds familiar to you and you have some insight. His shell looks fine. I don't, nothing looks strange. I could take him out and look at, look at him, but I don't want to bother him. But if you tell me to, I will. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'll just keep watching them and see. 